Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the S Boolean node. So we're going to jump into Fusion and uh, we've gone over plenty of shapes and we're going to start talking about combining and uh, bringing multiple shapes in other than just the merge. And one of the most important nodes for this is your S Boolean node. So uh, we're going to bring in a couple shapes first. So let's bring in a S star. Let's bring in a star shape and let's bring in a rectangle shape node. And of course we could merge these together. So we have two nodes, but uh, we're going to go ahead and bring in a S Boolean node. So shift space S Boolean and we're going to input it before our render. And we're going to bring in our star to the background and let's bring our rectangle into the foreground and plug our Boolean node into our render. So first let's go ahead and just add some color to our uh, star here and some color to our rectangle. And there we go. So on your Boolean node, we've got a background and a foreground input. So your operation works just like any other operation where we're intersecting union, subtracting or X oring those shapes together. So our background is our primary shape. Our foreground is our secondary shape. And then down here on style mode within our Boolean, we can change our style so we can change the color of our overall node. And we also have the ability to change that alpha as well as our opacity and allow combining if we need to maintain that alpha value. Now under our operate or under our style mode, if we want to keep the original colors, we just select keep. So now we've got the original colors of our uh, two little nodes here and we don't see what's happening because uh, we actually don't have our node set up. So we can take our rectangle and uh, resize it to make it smaller. So now you can see right now our operation is intersecting those two shapes. Let's go to our star and make this a little more exciting. So if we change our operation mode to union, now we're union or combining both those shapes. Nothing is being cut out or removed and we are keeping our style mode or we can replace it with our S Boolean node style. And we've also got subtract. So it's subtracting that uh, foreground from the uh, background. And again, our style modes on replace or we can keep it if we want. And then we have X or which is going to remove anything that is actually overlapping. And if we look at our uh, alpha channel, you can see this is what's happening as far as our actual alpha channel. You can see it's removing that shape information. So with this node, you can start creating some uh, pretty cool looks. So we can make our little rectangle a little smaller, change our star so it makes sense for this shape and uh, let's make it a little smaller there. And of course we can animate all this stuff so we can animate that angle. Animate that angle. Animate our square angle. And now we're going to have some weird trippy shape. And of course these nodes, we cannot combine them and, uh, Go ahead and replace. So we've got a single color going on. So if I want to bring in a, another shape, I can. So I could bring in another S Boolean and put this to my background. We can bring in a ellipse node and put it in our, in our ellipse node. We can do X or that 
Let's uh, change that size a little bit. And now we've got a more interesting shape. And we can keep combining nodes, merging them together and creating a whole bunch of different stuff. But this is how you uh, do intersect and union operations with shape nodes. So that is S-Boolean node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.